And what is going on everybody, I'm Sigli Toasty here and today we're playing some more Pixel Car Racer. This video has been requested for sure once, but I think it's been requested at least three other times. Um, but seeing how most of my content is Pixel Car Racer and I'm at a pretty good place being level uh, 139 and having 2 point 20, almost 20.5 million dollars, um, people have asked me you know, how do beginners get started, get to a good point. So I'm just going to make a video just instructing on how to begin. Because it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty hard to if you're just barely starting and don't have like the time to just grind right through it. Because they don't give you a tutorial. Or when I started they didn't, but that was years ago. So they just kind of have you do a race. Oh, I don't even think they have you do a race. But they just kind of give you an S13, which I've already bought, a stock S13. My neighbor is blasting his music, so give me a second. Sorry about that. My neighbor just got home from work, seeing how it's only, I don't know, 5 in the afternoon. Well, just about 9 minutes before, but uh, he usually has his music pretty loud in his car when he gets home. So, uh, you know. And seeing how my apartment complex is held together by nothing but hopes, dreams, and toothpicks. You know, you can kind of feel it, so it kind of reverbs. I don't know if that's the right word. But didn't want that to affect the quality of the video. But anyways. Um, yeah, the handy this S13. It's blue. They get It's the name of whatever your name is in the game. I put beginner because I didn't want to put my name. Just because, you know, this isn't about me. This is how you begin. So. They give you this. My first, um, the first thing that I would recommend you do, because they give you this and a little bit of money, I recommend you actually go to the dealership. Why do I say that? You should buy a Civic. Now, I get it. Like, why would I buy a Civic if I already have the S13? Here's my thought process with that. This is exactly what I did, so, you know. You can afford the Civic, at least back when I started. They give you $2,000 for mods. I think a little bit more than that, actually. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, uh, They give you a little bit of money for modifications, but you already have a spot open in your garage. So what I recommend you do is you buy one of the $2,000 Civics. I don't think there's any car that's cheaper. Well, I guess you can get that if you want to. One of these. I guess you can get that if you wanted to, but I usually go with the Civic. Get a Civic that's $2,000. Buy it and then go in and sell your S13. So therefore, you have more money than what you started and a pretty decent car that is light. may not have as much power, but it's, it's pretty light. And you could toss more mods at it because you just made three thousand two thousand dollars so then you can name whatever you want I'm just gonna name it civic and then you can start modifying my choices for modifications that are really cheap uh, if you want it to look good I recommend put it on that put it on some you know suspension exhaust adds a little bit of power don't bother with the brakes because those are mostly cosmetic same with the wheels those are cosmetic Seats don't do anything. Same with spoilers. Don't buy the intercooler yet. I know it'll add power, but it's five hundred dollars to. Oh, I guess it adds twenty. But buy the turbo. Buy whatever turbo you want. Buy an intake. Just click on the thing and buy the cheapest one. Then just start doing that. Tires don't really mean much. They kind of give you grip. Kind of, sort of. Really doesn't matter. I never really bother with them. And then don't worry about the ECU just yet, because that is only going to give you a little bit more RPM, which it does give you power, but at the top range. So you need more horsepower to even consider this. So if you're not making like 400, 500 horsepower, do not bother with an ECU. Just glance over that. Nitrous really doesn't add much, so don't really bother with it until you're making around 400 500 like the ECU so just get the cheapest things and then the fun part racing this video might be a little short
because there's not much. There's not much of it. So this is one of my builds, as you can tell. Um, I, I've built quite a few cars in this game. So let's go by each part. The story mode does not have anything in it yet. They still have to update it. They still have to make it. So that's just there for when they actually introduce it. Street class. CTF, I never really mess with it because it kind of has weird, like, mechanisms and stuff like that. It's kind of weird. I mean, you can try it out if you want to, but, I mean, it's not my thing. I, I've never really understood it too good. Cruise is just basically free roam, air quotes, because you're just going in a straight line. It's not really much to do. You can start street racing and stuff like that, but I recommend you just start racing first to make money. Once you get to around a million, two million dollars... Then um, you can start messing around with that just because it doesn't give you any money. Even if you do a street race there, it doesn't give you any money. Toge is a street race. So it'll set you next to another car and then y'all duke it out for a good 25 seconds. No, not 25 seconds. It's like a minute. And then you just, whoever wins gets the money. It goes by either time. Or it goes by life, so how long you've been in first place, or how long you've, they've been in first place. And whoever runs out of life first, loses, or you can time out. I've never actually timed out, because, you know, I always win. <laughs> but, yeah, there's that. Drag Race. You have Rivalry, which isn't out yet. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a multiplayer thing soon. That's also been there for a while. They just haven't introduced it yet. Now, usually I'd go in order, but let's talk about tournaments real quick. Tournaments are kind of a pay in, in the A. It's a good way to make money, but it's a better way to lose money. Me, personally, if I'm not driving an all-wheel drive car, I don't do the tournaments. This game has a really weird way of handling these tournaments when you're rear-wheel drive or front-wheel drive. If you can get through the first race, you're probably not going to get through the second race. If you have an all-wheel drive car, the game just kind of decides it doesn't want to be useful anymore, and it just does not launch. Like, that, it, it doesn't crash. The game itself doesn't crash. But rather, this game can't... The AI in this game, the AI in this game cannot handle launching an all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive just seems to bog with the AI, and you win every single time. It's kind of weird. You'd really have to miss shift, and it just don't mess with it. So, then you go to regular racing, free run. I always go manual because you don't have to mess with the clutch. Since you're a beginner, go automatic. Or, you know, you can go manual. It's just how you set it up, how you prefer it. I go manual. And then it doesn't matter which one. If you have more, if you have more horsepower than you do top end, top speed, then I recommend you do quarter mile or maybe even half mile because they will catch up on mile if you're not like so far ahead. Or that's for if you don't have top speed. If you have top speed, then of course you're gonna win. That all just depends on your build. So. Um, ooh, let's turn that down, because you don't need sound for this. Manual. Quarter mile. Snow and rain are kind of glitchy. And then, like, it'll, if you don't have the best of devices, it'll make your phone run a little bit slower, and it won't process as good. And then night, I simply just don't do that, because um, it doesn't show up on recording as well. But if you're like if you're low on battery, I recommend doing night because it just seems a little bit better for the battery life if I as I've noticed in my free time. So if you're at like fifteen percent and you want to play because you're bored and sitting in the car or something, you know, play it at night mode. So that way you don't kill your battery as fast. I always do day for the recording though, and then all you have to do is press go. First thing I did when I started a race was I sat there on the go screen for a good like two minutes and then accidentally pressed it. I accidentally pressed the go button and realized that's the button, that's not a loading screen. So that's one thing that always gets beginners because I've talked to a couple other people and they say they've done the same thing.
I didn't even talk about how you set up a race like that. You kind of look. You you saw what I just did, but I'm gonna do another race after this just to show you. Oh, and this is my slower car, so that's why my quarter mile time is nine seconds. That's pretty fast, but seeing how my CRX does a six second, yeah. So, anyways, setting up a race. Let's say you have a rear-wheel drive, front-wheel drive car, you do a burnout. If you have all-wheel drive, then just skip this part and go to the next step. So you do a burnout until it gets around halfway through the second block, if you can, with your tires. Now, this is the part where you, all cars need it. Put it in neutral. Let me restart that, because I was trying to explain, and I didn't set it up properly. So, like I said, burnout, do your burnout. And then you'll put it in neutral once you're done. Or once it'll actually let you. Because sometimes if you're not all the way down in RPM. Put it in neutral. And then rev it out. Then hit the NAS button when that first light comes on. And then once you can go. You press gear up to put it in first. And you just go. Right there I false started. But that's because I'm more focused on trying to tell you how to do it. Than actually racing. I'm a lot better than this as you see in my other videos. But I'm more focused on trying to explain what I'm doing rather than actually doing it. Or I'm focusing on what I, sh what I should be doing and not actually doing it. So burnout, I'll, I'll demonstrate it right now. Burnout, neutral, rev, first light comes on, nitrous. And you press gear up to go. I think the game sets you up the other way, where it's the shift up right next to the gas pedal. But I like it reversed, so that way I could just use both hands instead of having to like have them all close to one side. And then another thing. This doesn't mean anything, but when you're done with the race, all you simply do is just shift it all the way down to first gear. And then just slam on the brakes and it'll stop almost instantaneously. Or not almost instantaneously, but a lot faster than just slamming on the brakes. Again, I, I pressed the wrong button. I'm not even going to show you this one because like, it's not it's not a tactical advantage on anything. So it doesn't really matter. Um, I've already gone through dealership, parts store. Okay, dealership, actually. NA is where you're going to find the North American cars, you know, Dodge, Chevy, Ford. Then you're going to find, like, this isn't sold in the U.S. This is sold in Australia, but it's still an American car company. It's made by Ford. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's find something else. There was something else here. There was a Holden. Holden Ute. Those are also Australian, and we don't have this car company. We don't have Holden in the U.S., or never did. But it's owned by General Motors, so it's here. This is where you're gonna find all those American cars, and then you also have the DMC DeLorean here. I don't. I think that's more of Italian, actually. Now, if I'm not mistaken. Then you got the EU, which is British. You got BMW. You got Peugeot. You got Smart. You have Mini. You have Volkswagen. I think that's also a Peugeot. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. BMW. I think that's a Volvo. BMW, Volkswagen, I think that's a Citroen. Uh, I don't know what that one is. That one's a Carmen Ghia, Mercedes, Renault. You know, you have all those. And then here's the uh, Southern Asian. I think that's what it was. It was either Southern or Northern. I don't know. Someone explained it to me in the comment section a while ago. So where are you going to find like Honda, Nissan, Scion, even though I think Scion. Oh, you're also going to find Infinity and Lexus here, which are no are North American, but they're owned by Japanese car manufacturers. So that, give me one second, got to make sure my Xbox doesn't turn off. So yeah, you're going to have like Honda, Nissan, uh, Toyota, Lexus, Infinity. Um, all those, you're going to have, that's Toyota, Honda, I think that's a Honda Accord. Lexus, Mitsubishi, Mazda, Nissan, 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 Toyota, Acura, that's the one I was forgetting. Um, give me one second. 
So yeah, you just have all them right here. So, uh, that's how the dealership works. And then selling cars, you press the sell button. And the car's not going to sell for what you bought it for. And when you sell a car, all the upgrades stay. So, not stay on the car. Like, let's say I... Okay, how about this? Let me, sh let me demonstrate it for you. Garage. Let's put... Let's put the F... Let's put the Ferrari engine into it. Uh, I'm trying to find upgrades that actually matter. Okay, here. The Pandam kit. Um, here. And then those brakes. So you see how I added all those, right? Oh, actually, let's put some wheels on just so it matters. And then my yellow wheels. Okay, so I added all those modifications, and now I'm about to go sell the car. So, dealership, sell, sell the Civic. And now, the Civic's gone, but the Ferrari engine's still there. The body kit is still there. The, the brakes are still there, and so are the wheels and rims whatever you want to call it. So it's all there. You can sell the car without selling the upgrades. And then to sell your upgrades, you just go back to the parts store. You press inventory and then you can sell your parts. So let's sell this one. Now it's gone. And then store. So let's say you're in inventory and you want to go back. So store right there. These arrows, this one with a line next to it takes you all the way to the front or back and then the five explains it just takes you five steps ahead or backwards this is miscellaneous so you're gonna find bulbs lug nuts just miscellaneous items that you add to your car ECUs of course nitrous liveries spoilers and wings intercoolers engines body kits uh, seats and cage if you go all the way to the end Pistons, which by the way, yes, you can buy piston engine. You can buy pistons for a rotary engine. This game does not care. Turbo intakes, which by the way, if you go to the intakes, some of them. So this, 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 this. I don't know about these, but I'm pretty sure also this, 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 this one, and this one cannot be used unless you buy the VX, the VR. Sorry. Not VR, the XR blower supercharger because they're blower uh, attachments. You, here's paint, suspension, This, these are adjustable, and then you got bags which will let you adjust while you're driving. And these ones will slam you down all the way to 5 inches, but I recommend you put it to 4.5 so that way it's not scraping everywhere, which yes, scraping does slow you down in the game. Here's wheels. This is the laggier part of the game. I don't understand why. They have the brakes. These really don't do anything. They're just more for aesthetic. And you have exhausts, but half of them are the same weight or similar weights, but they're all the same horsepower. But yet they cost different prices. I don't understand that part either. And there you go. There's your parts store. You can log in and save your progress. Options is self-explanatory. Save game, you press that to save game because it doesn't automatically do it. Restore game to get it from a different device. Dealership race just takes you to that. I already explained that. Um, what was I about to do? Oh, yeah, okay, so you see that little shopping cart at the top, and if you log into your Facebook, you're going to actually see that as well. Here, let me make it clear. You press it there. You can access that from the dealership, from the parts store, and from the garage. And here's where you're going to find, you know, your free money, where you just watch a video and get 25 grand, and then you have to wait five minutes. Here's a little display of just different things. Then you can buy crates. Then you can buy no ads. And then you can buy diamonds, which diamonds are used for, if I can actually disappear into the garage, 
they're made for, I said this video is going to be really short, but it's actually one of my longest videos. It's for renaming your cars and for custom decals. And since I already have all the spots open, it doesn't show, but you can also buy um, additional parking spaces because I think you're only allowed two at the beginning and then you have to buy the extras. Crates, they give you free um, parts, free parts or free money. And press that button up there next to the shopping cart when you're in the garage. It takes you straight to the parts store and then it's replaced with the garage door and there it is. Now, I'm in the video here because I'm pretty sure I've gone through everything other than this. That steering wheel is how you get to the racing section. Go back to the garage. Here's the looks and everything. So seats, body kit, so I dropped my phone and accidentally pressed something. So liveries, miscellaneous wings, seats, body kits, front, middle, back, and then paint. This one is all performance, so engine swaps, press the wrong button, wheels, NOS, boost, suspension, tires, brakes, exhaust, intercooler, pistons, ECU, and the intake. And then here's the fun part. Oh, actually, I just hear something. Sorry, I thought my cat was messing around. But here's all the information. It gives you horsepower, so that horsepower is not correct, and you have to look at a different part that I'm going to show you in a minute. Then you have, like, tuning gears, and then you have tuning your launch control suspension if it's adjustable, which it will have a wrench at the bottom when you actually buy it, and then your boost control. And then the dyno. It costs $200 to run the dyno, but it'll give you an exact horsepower amount. It's usually different. 99% of the time it's different from what it says here. A lot of times it'll say a lot less. So. And then here, you're given three different garages. And you can buy more with, if I can press the button, with diamonds. Um, maybe not yet. I might do that in my spare time. Okay, I prefer this one, but I use the red one just because I used to use it in the past. And I guess that's it. Oh, by the way, a uh, cool little thing you can do in here, if you if you hold the garage door, it'll open slightly, it won't show anything. And then wherever you press in the shop, your guy will follow, or girl, depends on what you make. You press, the, you press and hold the door, it'll open and hold open, or you can just tap it and it'll just open and close. And then, if you're in the garage, press the TV, turn on and off, and sometimes you'll get that racetrack, or sometimes you'll get a different one, like that. It doesn't show you game footage, at least not that I think of, I think it just shows you. You know how, like, in Tokyo Drift, when they were in the hideout, there was, like, a, like, street racing on the TV behind them? Yeah, it's kind of like that. I think that's a nod to it, actually. But I think I've gone through everything in the game, I think I've shown you everything, um, yeah, so let me go on with my outro. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked the video, leave a dislike. Tell me down in the comment section why you liked or disliked the video. Talk to me down in the comment section. I love giving thumbs up, hearts, and positive all in good replies. A positive, supportive, and all in good comments. But I'll never react negatively to a negative comment because that's quite me and I'm all about spreading positivity. If you want positive content or just funny retweets in general, my Twitter is at the bottom of the description. Above that is two Instagram accounts. Instagram number one is my main for myself and for the channel, so if you want to keep up to date with me or the channel, go follow that one. Instagram number two is my automotive based one. You're already here. You like cars. Uh, go over there. Check it out. You'll find something that you like. Uh, hopefully you like a lot of it and hit that follow button really does help. Speaking of hitting buttons, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a video. I post every other day, but not a set time. So I was just going to need the bell icon for. Um, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. And remember, stay positive.